Kindergarten, week 18. Still talking about living and non-living and how animals adapt to their environment. I'm using the bear book, Baby, 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 Bear, What Do You See? Because what we have in front of us is a zoo trunk from our local zoo about bears. And they have given us biofacts to use to teach about bears. So we're going to use these. We have a skull that's un that it can come apart unhinged. They can pass it around. They can touch it. They can uh, put it together and make it bend. We have lots of different size prints to show them how big the bears feet are, on a, like a great big bear is this one, and then we have some smaller prints. We have bear claws, we can pass these around, show them. We have some things that bears eat, like berries and grapes, and then we have two models of bears. We have a tiny little bear and what they gave us is a bear that has a weight in it. It's a one pound weight to show them how much a bear weighs when it's born. And then that bear begins to grow. Also included in the trunk was a bear hide with the claws still attached. So they get to feel those and feel the hide and touch it feel how thick that fur is, why that skin's so tough. So we, even we have the pads of the paws still here. So we can take those tracks that we have and we can compare it. So this is just good hands-on activity for kids to do. And I got this uh, trunk from Ellen Trout Zoo here in Lufkin. And then we're going to use our bear that's still sitting in the middle of the classroom. And we're going to read them that story about the bear. And answer their questions. Why that bear has those certain characteristics. Why he has thick fur. Why does he have claws on his feet? Because he has to dig into hillsides and dig his den. So we're just we're going to just continue with our bear. So we're going to use the artifacts that are over there, pass them around. Uh, one important artifact I forgot that I'm going to really surprise you with. This is called scat. Scientists call it scat. It's otherwise known as poo. And it's actually a rubber replica of what bear poo looks like. Now, the kids are going to be really grossed out by this, and probably the teachers, too. But scientists use bear droppings or any animal droppings to identify what animals have been along a trail. So this is actually a scientific artifact. So hope you enjoy.